Deborah Messing is probably one of the pseudo-woke neoliberal Hollywood elites that I like the least because, you know, she's always going out of her way to attack Bernie Sanders, individuals who vote third party, and it's evident that she supports the status quo and keeping things as it is because she is very wealthy, she's comfortable with it. So I absolutely do not like her. With that being said, she made a tweet recently that is causing quite the stir, and surprisingly, it's not really that controversial to us Bernie Sanders supporters. So, in response to a tweet from The Hollywood Reporter stating Donald Trump will appear at a fundraiser in Beverly Hills during the week of the Emmys, Deborah responded saying, please print a list of all attendees, please. The public has a right to know. Now, she's not necessarily saying here, I want addresses, I want phone numbers, I want their personal information to be released. All she's saying is, I want names. I want to know which wealthy Hollywood elites are attending this fundraiser in support of Donald Trump. This is all information that will be publicly available when the FEC reports come out. So there's really nothing more to this than her saying, I would like to see that now. So possibly I can choose to not work with these particular individuals. It's really, it's not controversial at all. In fact, CNN just recently did a segment where they talked about which 2020 Democratic Party candidates certain liberal celebrities support. And they did this after FAC reports came out. This spring, the Indiana mayor scooped up donations from a star-studded cast of Hollywood royalty, including Gwyneth Paltrow, Michael J. Fox, and Kevin Bacon. In fact, in Hollywood these days, it's more like six degrees of Mayor Pete. Another favorite among the celebrity set, their home state senator, Kamala Harris, who scored donations from Sean Penn, Don Cheadle, and former TV spy Jennifer Garner. This is how it's going to be. America's sweetheart Tom Hanks wrote a check to former Vice President Joe Biden's campaign. So, I mean, you get the point. This is nothing new. This really isn't controversial at all. And even if I, you know, I would waste no time jumping in to criticize Deborah Messing. This is one of those instances where she is completely in the right. I think it's perfectly reasonable to want this information to be disclosed. So, with that being said, of course, this was still relatively controversial because conservatives predictably cried victim. But what's weird is that the ladies at The View decided to criticize Deborah Messing for it. And Whoopi Goldberg, she has just been on a bad take spree recently, and she absolutely decided to rip Deborah Messing for this. And she ended up going on this extremely bizarre, almost borderline incoherent rant. So I'm going to play that clip for you, and then I'll tell you my thoughts when we come back. But I happen to be against that kind of thing. I, yeah. I, I do believe that you should know if a company gave a lot of money to to uh, uh, Trump in this mm -hmm. particular case. I mean, I know some of the, uh, this is the names of these companies are going around on Facebook. And, you know, you can, you can say, no, I'm not going to buy uh, that two by four from that company. Mm -hmm. right. But when it's individuals, I think that then you're, in, you're, in, you're stalking mm -hmm. and you're starting to endanger that person's life. So I don't approve of that. Mm -hmm. So what, what about the fact that those donations are already public record? Well, that's on something the else. If they're out there and they look them up, fine. But so what are you saying? That so Deborah can say, I don't want to work with those people. It's already out there and I know who they are. Yeah, if Deborah, if Deborah right. looks them up and it's already a matter of public record, That's her right why to aren't do. you um, proud of your support? If you're proud enough to pay the money and mm -hmm. donate, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not condoning any violence against anyone. But, but if you're proud enough to happens. donate, yeah. then, then Listen, why Listen, last time people did this, yeah. people ended up killing themselves. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a good idea, mm -hmm. okay? Listen, your general, your yeah, idea ideas. of who you don't want to work with is your personal business. Do not encourage people to print out lists because the next list that comes out, your name will be on, and then people will be coming after you. No one, you, we, nobody. We had something called the blacklist, and a lot of really good people were accused of stuff. Nobody cared whether it was true or not. They all, they were accused yeah. and they lost their right to work. You don't have the right in this country. People can vote for who they want to. That is one of the great rights of this country. You don't have to like it, but you, we don't, we don't go after people because we don't like 
who they voted for. We don't go after them that way. We can talk about issues and stuff, but we don't print out lists. And I'm sure you guys misspoke when you said that because you, it sounded like a good idea. Think about it. Read about it. Remember what the blacklist actually meant to people. And don't encourage anyone, anyone, to do it. That was insufferable. She's acting like Deborah Messing is calling for their social security numbers to be leaked publicly. That's not what this is about. So please, for the love of God, spare me this sanctimonious bullshit and maybe, you know, be outraged about something that warrants that level of aggression. Because what Deborah Messing did here, it's not an issue. Now, Joy Behar, she chimed in and she claimed that, you know, to release which corporations contribute to politicians, that's one thing. But to release the information of individual donors, that's a bridge too far. And she said, when you release the list of individuals, quote, you're starting to endanger that person's life. I mean, really, Joy? You're honestly saying that these wealthy Trump supporters are in danger if it is disclosed that they contributed to Donald Trump and attended this fundraiser. I mean, first of all, way to legitimize the conservative victimization complex. But second of all, if their lives were truly in danger because they supported Donald Trump, then don't you think that they would probably just, out of self-interest, stay out of politics and not support Donald Trump? Because, I mean, we still have sec secrecy of the ballot. If they choose to vote for Donald Trump, that's one thing. But to go out of your way to contribute to Donald Trump, to attend one of these fundraisers when you know that this will be made public, are you honestly saying that to see the list of these donors ahead of time before the FEC reports come out, that would endanger these people's lives? I mean, I guess that is what she's saying because she said it. It's preposterous. It's absolutely ludicrous. And thankfully, as usual, Sonny Hostin was the only person with a reasonable take on that entire panel. And it's frustrating because when you have one voice of reason and four other voices that are relatively reactionary, who just knee-jerk defend the status quo and the establishment, you end up with a show that just makes people misinformed. It makes them more stupid. And Sonny Hostin rightfully pointed out that, you know, if they were embarrassed of their donation or afraid for their lives, then obviously they wouldn't make that donation. But if these Hollywood elites don't want it to be known that they support a warmongering, xenophobic, racist piece of shit, then they can choose to not make those contributions and not attend these fundraisers with Donald Trump. It's that simple. Put your mouth where your money is or don't donate. Now, once Whoopi Goldberg chimed in, as you probably noticed, she completely steered the entire conversation off of a cliff. So she said, do not encourage people to print out lists because the next list that comes out, your name will be on it and then people will be coming after you. Now, obviously, she is likening Deborah Messing's desire to see which individuals attended this Donald Trump fundraiser with the 1940s through 1960-ish blacklist in Hollywood, where if anyone who worked in Hollywood was suspected of being a communist sympathizer, they couldn't find work in Hollywood. She's literally saying here that what Deborah Messing wants is comparable to that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't have to educate a boomer on the Red Scare, but individuals who were placed on that list were on that list for dubious reasons. It was a nonsensical list, but all Deborah Messing is saying is show me the list of the assholes who attended this fundraiser with Donald Trump to say that that is similar to the blacklist where Hollywood elites were suspected of being communist sympathizers. I mean, to say that that is a historical or historically ignorant, you know, at best is it's an understatement. I just for her to say that it's honestly embarrassing. But here's where she goes in for the worst part of her argument. You don't have the right in this country. People can vote for who they want to. And that is one of the great rights of this country. You don't have to like it, but we don't go after people because we don't like who they voted for. Actually, we do. We have the right as citizens, and we can very much criticize people who do things that we don't like, who vote in a way that we disagree with. That doesn't necessarily mean that I can coerce them into voting a certain way, but if I believe that someone shouldn't vote for a particular candidate, I am allowed, legally speaking, to vocalize my disagreement. 
So if you're going to cite the particular rights that we do and don't have, maybe brush up on those rights before you go espousing this nonsense, Whoopi, because we absolutely can make whatever list that we want as individuals, and we can criticize people who are our political opponents. I just, I, I don't understand why they're choosing to die on this hill. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. This is absolutely a non-issue. Whatever, you know, uh, Deborah Messing said here does not warrant the criticism that Whoopi Goldberg is saying. And to say, oh, well, you know, we don't have to, uh, we don't get to go after people if we don't like who they voted for. That's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. And also, it's kind of a non sequitur because we're talking about political contributions and, you know, money in politics has essentially ruined our democracy. So whatever is left for us to salvage in terms of democracy, it's transparency, knowing who contributed to who. And we still have that. So we're using, you know, that to our advantage. But we'll be saying, you know what, that's a bridge too far. If you want to shame and name these Donald Trump supporters in Hollywood... I just can't support that. Okay, well then don't support it, but I disagree with you and we absolutely have a right to know. And that information uh, will be made publicly available. So apparently the American government and uh, the legal codes in this country disagree with you and agree with Deborah Messing and other individuals who would like to see these donations because we will see these donations. We will see who attended this fundraiser with Donald Trump. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the individuals who are Hollywood elites who attended this fundraiser knew going into this that this could get out and it could affect their career either positively or negatively but the point is that we have a right to know and for you to suggest otherwise you know it just demonstrates that you are clueless when it comes to politics and uh, yet you know you keep speaking about it and making a fool of yourself subscribe if you like this video folks mike's tremendous and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.